Hi guys, welcome back. King Monfish here, and we are playing more Grim Fandango. So, let's. A little recap on last time. So, we sorted out um, good old Seaman Naranja. He's definitely not turning up, so that's, that's one thing we've got to sort out of the three. So, we've also got Glodis, his CB tools, and we also have to get ourselves a Union card. Let's just have a little look in here. Here's our buddy. Hey, Terry, that was a beautiful speech out there. Yeah, maybe so, but it landed me in here. Don't worry. I'll get you the best lawyer in town. Okay, Manny, but quick! Before the movement loses its buzz! Before the movement loses its buzz. Very well said. So, maybe, maybe let's, let's concentrate on maybe getting him out of there. Um, ooh, what's the quickest way to go? Let's go this way. I actually do want to go down here. So, if you remember, mm, don't think it was last episode, maybe the episode before that. If you remember, we um, we found a key which was mysteriously kind of placed in. Um, well, it was actually in Nick, the lawyer's cigarette case, um, but it was meant to be in with uh, Lupe, who was our sort of. Do we call her? Coat woman, concierge, whatever you call her. Um, but it's locked. I think we're fine. The um, key may open this place. So let's have a look. Oh, here we go. Lola. Careful, Manny. You may not want to see me like this. Lola. Did Nick do this to you? Yeah, he wanted that picture real bad. But he's never gonna find it, that thing. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny, would I have had a chance? Never mind. Probably not. <laughs> She just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny, like you. Lola. Oh, Lola. sprouted. Got it. Well, does she leave us a little clue? She does. Always good. Cheers, Lola. Oh, Lola. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number 22, Lengua. Number 22, Lengua. Right, okay. So... What we want to do... Well, let's actually have a little look at that card, actually, see if we can... Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it, ah, it's the same and it thing. says number 22, yeah, yeah. Lengua. Right, so... What we know is that she originally hid the key, or she tried to hide the key, with um, Lupe. Um, which way am I going? Not the right way. <laughs> let's, let's go the right way, shall we? Um, so she tried to hide it, hide it with Lupe, which keeps our coats. She had a new coat check system. So, it's not a bad place to start looking and trying to work this out. Let's go back up here, because it's probably the quickest way back to our place. Now we're at the top. You guys may have heard that uh, they're remastering this game for PS4, and actually, just, I've found out recently they're doing it for PC as well. Pretty awesome. Other than the fact that I'm bloody well doing this playthrough now, probably well, it might be it might be a year away, maybe months and months away. Who knows? But you know, anyway, the, the game's still a classic. You can still play it. Like, so you can still enjoy it. Although I am excited to see what it's going to look like. Either way, let's uh, just dive straight in there with that. What's this about, bitch? Hey, this is a card for my new coat check system. You do care! Yay! Can I have my coat, please? You bet! This is so exciting! Okay, okay, okay. See, why is she purple? 
I get the people are skeletons this thing, but not purple bones. 22, 22, 22. Langua, Langua, Langua. Ha! <clears throat> Here it is. Oh, darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> Sounds a bit dodgy to me. Right. Well, the only thing we do is look in the jacket, I guess. There's a little slip of paper in one of the pockets. What's it say? What's it say? What's it say? Okay. Well, I think we need a coat anymore. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Right, well, who do we think we know who may have something to do with rusty anchors? Now, you think rusty anchors, you didn't see think sailors, I guess? But, in actual fact, what we're going to do is we're going to head more towards... Um, tattoo, well, sailors, but the tattoo thing of it. So, if you remember when we met Naranja before, who's probably still passed out in that room, we met, um, can't remember the guy's name even, but, uh, tattoo artist guy. So, go ahead and ask him. That was not probably not the quickest way around that bit, but oh well, we'll go that way anyway. Uh, da -da -da -da. I remember his name, that's doing my head in. What was it? Nah, we'll find out in a minute. Come on. Run, you little maniac. There we go. And teleport. Ping! <laughs> I love how it does that. Is it sad I know that? Hmm. Possibly a little bit. Come on, get in there, you little maniac, you bastard. There he is. Are you kidding me? Right. I don't I think that would shed any light idea on things. In first place. I don't think that would shed any uh, light on things. Tiger can't change his stripes. It's the ladder I came in on. Idiot. <laughs> Never get me under that thing. So you still going? Just look away from something so I can. Hey, oh, listen that to me. me. You've got to I take care about of yourself. My date with Inez. Who's a Nez? Wow, I don't think I've ever heard yeah, that line before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that this paper says is number 30. I don't think that would shed any light All right, on maybe should I speak to him. What is that? Hey, Velasco! Manny, do you mind artist at work here, eh? Velasco, that was it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Huh. Okay. Sure. Maybe, sure, I'll, maybe I have forgotten this bit. That'd be interesting. Definitely. Wow. This is going to be more interesting than I thought. Mm -hmm. I thought we'd speak to him. Pretty sure number 36, the Rusty Anchor, is a tattoo of his. And I know what's in there. I know what, I know what it leads to. But how we get to that bit? A bit, bit more tricky. In the meantime, then, let's put a pin in that. And let's head towards back to the VIP lounge. I think. Because we still want what's his face to come in here and try and we still need to get down here in order to get ourselves. What do you call it? Union card. That's it. I want to get his what, Chow Chilla Charlie's money so he can make a union card. If only I could remember how to... Ah! Oh, I think I tried this last time. I told you to stay out of here! I wouldn't have to come in here if the service were a little faster. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud! You know what I just remembered, yes, possibly? Then. Let's try this. Look at that, we got our thingy, we got our drink, we got a slip of paper, and here we go. I'd better not open it when it's full. That could spill a lot of juice. So what we want to do is we want to 
Okay. That monster ah, there we is go. running This is what I wanted. Oh, but monsieur, je suis très désolé. There are no guests allowed in the kitchen. I must ask you to leave. In a minute, Leroy. <laughs> Raoul. Leroy. Right, so this is what I wanted. He goes in there. And this is where we spring into action. I say spring, it's going down those stairs like. And we'll close that up. Get out our trusty. Scythe. And. Put that through the door. Now we sit back and wait. Hello? Hello out there? Could somebody please open the door? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I seem to have uh, locked myself in this teeny tiny room. I am actually very close to a phobic, so if somebody. Uh, si vous plaît! Si vous plaît! Oh, let me out of here! Immediately! Again, this guy's blue. I mean, what's that? Hey, I'm thirsty. Where's you that? You got a full waiter? glass, you maniac. That does it. Hmm. I love his little hair at the front there. Yes, goddess. Well, kind of. Massive alcohol problem, apparently. Mm. Fruity, but voluminous. <laughs> okay. And now it's empty, which means let's try this again. And away we go. And hop in. This will all make sense in a minute. Well, somebody's sleeping on the job. It's Leroy. Ah, it's empty. <coughs> Ruben, where are you? Aha. Aha. <laughs> Mon dieu! A little nap, a vous, eh? Well, le keg is le empty, so too sweet, Buster. Yes, and monsieur. that's how we got our side back. I don't see anything you say. Eight oh, more wine. Oh, I'm going to fire him for ignoring my Oops. pleas, and then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever be locked up in such a small, dark place. Pilot point. And here we are. Down in the wine cellar. But which one are we? Oh, there's so many. I think we can work out which one we are based on. Well, you know. Yeah, that's right. Oh, we have to drive the little forklift now, don't we? It's always good fun. Right, now this bit I remember being a little bit tricky and also a little bit sketchy. As in, I seem to remember this is one of the places it would glitch out on me. But, I'm hoping that this time it won't. So, press that button. We get back into the forklift. And we drive forward as much as we can. Hopefully. Yeah. Obviously you need to know that's there already. But obviously playing the game enough, I have worked out that's there. So when you when you normally go up, you see there's like a hidden door. So what you do is you dram the forklift in it. Come around here. Give that a flick. And here we go. So now we're in this... This is where the story starts picking up a little bit. So everyone... Make note of what we're about to find. Yos mio, it's full of double end tickets. 
This could get a hundred souls on the number nine train. Something's not right about this. I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chowchilla Charlie. Hmm. Uh oh. All right, Manny. Give me the case. Charles, I thought we had a bargain. Don't we do? But I thought I'd bring some muscle along just in case. <laughs> What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it. You said it, boss. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the union, Manny. Meetings first <coughs> Tuesday of every month, and uh, don't forget to pay your dues. Ladies and gentlemen. So there we Don't go. Forget to pay my dues. <laughs> so there we go. That's number two off the list. So that's, that's pretty quick. We've now got a union card. So we're sorted basically. All we need to do is collect Glodus' CB tools. Which in that case, what we need to so working backwards, what we need to do is we need to get Terry out of the next And this announcer guy's it on. <laughs> um what we need to do first is remember how to use this thing. Where is it? Here. No, that's my union card. Here. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? All that this paper says yeah. is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? I was sure that. I think we do have to do well something with, you know, Velasco, whatever his name was. So I know, it, I'm sure it's him we've got to speak to. It's just how he gets attention might be my thing. I'm, I'm m getting wrong here and mistaking for being confused by. Du -du 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 -du. Right, how am I going to get his attention? You said that? Hey! Velasco! Manny, do you mind? Artist at work here, eh? You've got guts. I'm sure there's where I can get his attention or do something here. Can't remember what it is. Can I help? Uh, that's a slip of paper, that's a baster. Key. I'm not doing that with Lola's jacket. <laughs> Good point. I don't think that would shed any light on things. I don't think that would shed any light on things. Oh, but why? I don't think that would shed any light on things. I don't think that would shed any light on things. Stop saying that. I don't think that would shed right. any light on things. Find them. Ah, uh, hang on a second. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. get away from that. Ah. Oh. Yeah, ah, uh, hang on a second. Okay. No, no, what are you thinking? Okay, yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it. So, what happened after dinner? So maybe... I don't think that would shed any light on things. Uh-huh, hmm. uh-huh. Six hours later. Right, okay. Oh, I, don't I found out it. actually there was actually a bit of a, a skip there. What the know. bad kids? That well, this guy can be quiet. Basically, the, there's an issue when it crashes here, and for anyone who's interested, I found out it's a sound-based thing. So if you turn the sound effects and this, that to text only, go back, and then try it. So. Do you mind us work here? Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Got to, uh, hand them. There's some, there's only some side effects to work. Right. So, is there anything to you? You mean besides the song, the poem, and the bard, the statue by that name? Sure. It's one of my most famous designs. Here, I'll show you. 
sorry, I'm to fill in the voices here, not create them, but as soon as this bit's over, we should be able to get back. Let's see, uh, number 30, uh, 30 uh, 36, here we go. Hey, what's this? So, basically, it normally worked up to this point. My friend Lola left that here for me. Oh, yeah, Lola, lovely girl, sweet girl. Oh, yeah, Lola was here, sweet girl, like a daughter to me. Tell her Papa Toto says hello. All right, and that's where it would have crashed. Right there, we wouldn't be able to play anymore. So, now we should be able to go back out. Turn our sounds back on. And away we go. Okay. So let's actually work out what we got there. Looks like these cats are almost scruff and scruff. So if we look just a couple of important facts to look here. So number one one four in the bottom corner. We're also six six top there. I'm gonna go with that's probably a date. Bit of a bit of a guess there. So actually, you know what? For the first time, let's gonna get out our uh, one of these. So if we set to six, and we set that to six. But then, what day do we need? That's the question. So on that note, let's go and find out what day we need. What this should do is give us a, hopefully a winning winning ticket. Um, so we go this way. So yeah, sorry about the. Um, you might have had a bit of a skip there. I mean, obviously, I'm not editing at the moment, so I don't know what my, how I'm going to edit that through. But I'm keeping this little gold mine to myself. Right, okay. So he's going uh, to explain something to us here. Beloved Sandspoof, this regal and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years, until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short. On the second week of the racing season, when the airship Olivia One, on its maiden voyage, crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sanspoof was in the lead. Right, okay, so actually, I think what we might be able to do, possibly. Let's have a bit of a look. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Problem is, I think it can't. I can't if it's six. Let's just go with that. This is gonna be a bit of a random guess. So that said, the second week it says six or oh, so sixth race, second week. And what we'll do is we'll take it around to hopefully Hello. this guy. Oh, hi! Oh, betting stub, please. What? I need the betting stub for the race you're interested in. Interested in how? In the rest didn't seem the photo finish file for, of course. Here you go. So what we've got hey, is a photo Hey, this looks different than our usual ticket. Well, that's because it's from uh, last season. All just right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. Just a bunch of cats. Damn it. Yeah. Right. Didn't but do it that time. Fast, they're running. <clears throat> ah. Sorry, sir. So we need to work out. I'm right. sure you'll be a winner next time. So what we need to do is get ourselves this ticket printer. See it Monday. Do we go second six or six second? Be nice if it told us, really. See, I think that six that you saw on each side of the photo was just the same. Oh. Like, it's not saying week six, race six, right? Oh, it's just hi. six. Betting stop, please. And then that thing you told us the second week. All right, just a second. <laughs> but I can't remember how you find the day. Cats again? Ah, oh, damn it. Sorry, sir. 
I'm sure you'll be a winner next time. Okay. Um. See, I cannot work out. Tuesday's ringing a bell, but I can't remember why. Oh, this is good again. Hello? Oh, hi! Betting stop, please. Here you go. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. Do not pet the cats, please. Aha! Aha! What? Are you a winner? Big winner. Thanks, pal. Glad I could help. Right, okay. So what we do is we quickly just change the photo there, so we put the actual photo back. So what we need to do now is look at what the photo is we have. And it should be, if we're lucky, that's right, it's the picture of Nick. It's Lola's last work, a juicy photo of Nick and Olivia kissing. So, you know who we can show this to, right? I think that guy was up to something. Don't you, Doug? Doug? Who? Oh, that guy? Oh, yeah, I think he's sort of a twin, nuts. or he's a schizo, or something weird. You show it to one guy, and he always says the counterfeit. You show it, show it to the happy guy, he's like, yeah, yeah, fine. You oh, got it. So, is Nick Come around? On. Yes, he is. Go, Excellent. Go, go. Let's show him the photo and see what happens. What's that? Look what I found at the photo finish booth. Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tomcat are neck and neck. <laughs> what do you want? I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly imprisoned merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive! Yes. So we got Terry out. I guess our business is settled. Almost. <coughs> what Ooh, what was that for the photo girl? No, that was just for being you. I don't have time to get you for Lola, but I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either. But don't feel too bad about that, Manny. I hear saving women really isn't your forte. What a bastard. Right. So, after all that. So what we should have now is we should have the B tools. Uh, well, actually, can't remember if we've already got them or whether we need to go and get them. So let's just go down and see our friend, the B, Terry. And if we can get his tools from him. If not, then I'm going to assume he's already sorted them out. I think he may have already sorted them out. But let's go see if he's there anyway. Yes, it is. Oh, we won't, won't work. work. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Hell no, we Hell won't no, work. We won't work. <laughs> Manny, do it in time, all right? Okay, Sorry. From the top. Hell no, okay, maybe we I'll sort it. Hell no, we won't work. Bogan so, is a what big we fat need jerk. to do. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Ooh. Hell no, we Authentic won't work. Hell no, we won't work. And there they are. Those are some pretty Bogan big tools. Bogan is a big fat jerk. I'll just have the eyes kind of come up on our way out of town. Are we bees or are we flies? So are we bees or are we flies? For quite a while. No right, so the tools are there no for us. Goddess is just going to grab them. So, I guess what we need to do is head to our old... Sprouted? Friend. What's happening to this town? Oh, big city crime, Manny. We're getting more of it every day. I know you probably hate getting it this way, but Naranja's job's yours now. No, Velasco, I don't know if I'm comfortable taking that. You'll take his job because there's no one else I can get on such short notice. Now, oh, what about these tools? Where are they? They're too big for me to carry. Gladys will bring them when we board. Hmm. And the card? Let me see it. Oh, oh, one of Charlie's rush jobs. 
Good thing your new captain's far sighted. <laughs> Looks like you're all ready to go, Manny. Except one. Where's that piano player of yours? He's having a little goodbye party. I'll go get him. Tell him to hurry up. The limbo can't sail without him. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. <laughs> right. Oh, we're going to get Glodis. Okay. What we'll do, I think, is going to get Glodis. I think that may well be the end of this year. Um, now, the question is is he still where we left him or has he moved somewhere else? <laughs> That's going and to check. And is it this? If this says the end of the year, then we'll. Come what? on! There he is. Run! Push, 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 push. Come on. Home soon. Shh. I'm visualizing. <laughs> <laughs> What did you say, little kitty? Don't talk uh, yeah, we do need to do something. What is it we need to do baby. to get him to actually That's a good cat. come with us? Punch it, buddy. We might need to get him kicked out. Yeah. And I can't remember off the top of my head how to do that. But come on. We shall work it out. Maybe let's go see Maximino. So we haven't actually done yet. Hello, Maximino. Why, if it ain't Manny Calavera. Come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. I, I just right? remembered it. I just remembered it. Look, you gotta cut Gladys off. He has a problem. As long as he's got credit, then he's got right, no problem. It's not that. I just remember what it is. How did Gladys get credit? He's part owner of your club, ain't he? Half owner, actually. Well, he put the joint up as collateral. So as long as you're in business, he's in business. Right. It's not that. <clears throat> However, I have him where it is. Now we're going to have a little cut, cut now, and we're going to appear back at our own place. That's a good cat. Right, so we're back at our own place. Um, I haven't done a thing, literally just walked in the door and on, didn't do anything on the way here. But what we can do, this is something if you remember from the very first moment we walked in this office, I said there was something to do with it. And I just remember what it is. Ah, Lady Luck. So, can I remember how we play this? Or how it works? No. However, we're magnetising one of the balls. Let's see what happens. Le numéro gagnant, le 13, noir, Empire Mark. 13, black, house pays all winners, le banque paye. Got it. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. I don't remember how this works. I think if we just... That's the table we want, because that's where the police constable is. That's, that's what we're looking for. Leader, Noir, Barry Monk, number two. Two is the winner. Your chips, monsieur. Thank you very much. Mesdames hmm. et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. We just gave him and chips. Put it on that. Please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. Right, so I think what we do is we turn that off. I think you wait until it's on the table and it's spinning on his table. So if you remember when we went down, the three tables there. So the next table. 36, red. Yeah, yeah, go on with it. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. Um, twenty. So now, there we go. Fourteen. Fourteen is the winner. Le 14. Numero 14 est le gagnant. 
I think you mean two. Am I correct? Uh, no, monsieur. Fourteen is the winner. I think you've made a mistake. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Fourteen is the winning number. Better luck next time, eh? That's it. That calaver is getting too big for his britches. I don't like raiding businesses and shutting them down. But someone's got to teach Manuel a lesson in law and order. <laughs> this way, back here. So I see. Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. So and we get shut down. Find Calavera. And that means we got I no money, which means Lois gets cut off. Cut off, basically. Raided. How long are they gonna close it for? Ah, uh, yeah. You better cut off the big guy's credit then. Yeah, yeah. Throw the drunk out on his big orange butt. Mm. Okay. Hey, Calavera, so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! You gotta let me back in! I'm a VIP! Does that stand for very inebriated pianist? Many. I don't want to be a <laughs> very pianist anymore. I like it. I'm a mechanic. I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. Right. So this is us getting on a boat. To the engine? Make it faster? Sure, but you'll be plenty busy just keeping her afloat. Thanks for the gig. <laughs> Willie, though. Too many questions. We know so, Gladys. After what happened in Naranja, I can see why you'd leave town. Let's just hope I don't have to go fishing you out of the drink again. <laughs> I'll stay under next time. I promise. And yet again, we end up finishing a year with a moth in our hand. But, as we know, we usually land on our feet, so let's see how, after a year, how this is going to turn out. <laughs> Glorus has certainly outdone himself yet again. Captain, Captain Calavera? <laughs> Puerto Zapato, sailor. We're here at last. Beautiful port, isn't she? Yes, sir. There's some customs officials down below, sir. They want to search the ship. Mm, customs fine, officials. Fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys. Like a rock this time. Manuel. <laughs> Salvador. I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware, and viva la revolución! <laughs> well, he's told us just out of time. And that, everyone, is where we will end this episode. So, cheers for watching. And leave me a like if you enjoyed. And when we come back, we will see how we can get out of this mess. So, cheers, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs>